How would you feel if you were the last of a great species? Well, that's exactly what our dear main character Bix is feeling. Hello, fellow book questers! It is I, Aaron the Book Quester. Today, I have this awesome book to tell you, tell to you guys. Endling, the last by Catherine Applegate herself, book one of the Endling series. And Catherine Applegate is our lovable author of the one and only Eve, Ivan, or even depending how you pronounce it, and. Wish Tree, one of the great Sacramento books that I have read over the years. And let's get right on to it. Bix is a Darine, the last of a noble species, who looks like a dog, has incredibly soft fur, can glide using, well, what most gliders do, and has, has a pouch, and also can speak and practice magic, like all six governing species can, and one incredible ability to tell to be able to tell from truth to lie as easily as it is to tell if this is air or this is stone. And endling, you might ask. Well, the definition is written on basically the first page of the book. I mean, Catherine Applegate, she knows how to write her books. Endling, noun. The last living individual in a species, or, a, or occasionally a subspecies. The official public ceremony at which a species is declared extinct. A eumani, or I don't know, sorry. And informal, someone undertaking a doomed or quixotic quest. That is the definition of handling, my dear friends and viewers, and well... For this time, it means the last of a species, a very major species, mind you. And Bix, she, while rescuing our dear little friend who is named Tubble, while, she, while he was drowning in the sea, had, had um, quite luckily managed to avoid soldiers who were, at that point, right on their family. And their family, had, her, her, her family, Bix's family, had been ruthless, ruthlessly slaughtered for her, their incredibly soft fur, and maybe something more sinister behind that all. Meanwhile, a poacher, a poacher who pretends to be a boy but is actually a girl, helps them. And she happens to be one of great heritage. And who is the sworn enemy against the Emperor, who is evil and also is trying to wipe out all of the six governing species. And those six governing species, including humans, well, basically, six governing the six governing species, is, guys, is a species that can talk, that can make weapons or tools in that matter, and are intelligent and can practice magic. And these are the six species. Humans, Raptidons, Felivets, Terramans, Nanites, and Dernes. Humans, well, you know what humans are. Raptidons, the great predators of the skies, the lord of the skis. Felivets, the great Predators of the earth, and the sneakiest, and the most noble of them all. Terramans. The war, the worm-like species, the insect-like species who live in the earth. Nanites. The ones who rule the seas. And finally, Dernus, who, in the ancient rhythms, is supposed to go and move as they please because they are trusted, and also they are welcomed for the gift of telling truth from lie. And our dear Bix here is the last of the last of the Durans, and right now she is traveling with a human 
and our dear little Tubble, who doesn't even count as a governing species because their kind cannot practice magic. And she is undertaking a little bit of a quest, a quest to, for survival. And she, along with our dear little poacher with a heritage, I'm not going to tell you her name, because you'll know soon enough if you read this book, and they are going to embark on an adventure and get involved with other species. And finally, at the end, there, there will be a human of an, a Daraline and our dear little Tubble, and one more species shall be walking with them, fighting against the evil emperor. Who will they be? What kind of species would they be? Would they be Nanites, the Lord of Seas? Will they be Raptidors, the Lord of the Skis? Well, only time will tell, and that in time, that time, you better read this book. It is a great book, and it makes you wonder, how would I feel if I was the last human on this earth? I mean, I think it would be a bit too depressing, don't you think? And, like always, your book quester and the book quester. Great book makes you think. If I really was the last one, what would I do? I mean... There would be a lot of pressure, don't you think?